have you ever wondered how to master the split in the center? So if you know, okay, don't watch. But if you don't know, let's go. We're gonna show you how to master the splits. Margot Fontaine will be here to help you. And Rudon Nurijev will help her too. Let's go. Welcome back. My name is Rudon Nurijev. Margot Fontaine. Ah, just kidding. Ibrahim Perez. And Maria Kupari. And here in Bali Popular, we're helping you build your passion, passion and influence, influence through dance. dance. So, guys, if you're new here, consider subscribing. Because in this channel, we'll do. Hey, Maria. Tips, tutorials, reviews, and the original choreographies. So, guys, let's go. How do you master your split in the front? Let's master those splits in the center. First exercise, I want you to find a good wall or a mirror. So you're gonna put your booty against the mirror. You're gonna be as parallel as you can. All right, so you're gonna let the gravity do its work. So we're gonna do this, I would suggest doing this stretch. If you're a very, very beginner, do it at least three times for 30 seconds. If you're a little bit more advanced, you can do it five times of 30 seconds stretch. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna open your legs as much as you can, and I want you to flex, because if you flex, you'll feel the stretch in the inner thighs even better. So you're gonna stay in that position, in for 30 seconds, you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna start feeling that the gravity is making your legs go down. So you can text, you can talk, you can do whatever you want there until the time passes, 30 seconds, and then you shake it off, relax a little bit, and then you do it one more time. Second time, try to do it lower. If you need the help of your arms, you can put your arms on your inner thighs and push slightly, just enough so it doesn't hurt. So you stay another 30 seconds there, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Try to flex even more so you can feel the stretch even harder. And you stay another 30 seconds. It's gonna be hard, guys. It's not easy to stay in this position, but you just have to stick in it because that's where the stretch is going to happen. You finish that, you relax, it's in a third time. If you want, if you feel that it's gonna help you, try to come on your elbows so you feel like your push towards the wall so you don't feel like it's drifting away from the wall. So you're gonna stay there and push push your upper body forward so you can feel the stretch even better. So you're gonna stay there another 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and try to make your back straight so it doesn't sink in like that. If you start to stretch, you're gonna feel the stretch even better. So you're gonna stay there. So I did this for a long time in my life, so I'm very flexible. I can do it full split, but if you are not able to do it yet, please don't hurt yourself. Do it slower, one step at a time. And let the gravity do its work. Second stretch to improve those uh, splits. If you have uh, a pole probably you don't but if you have like a strong chair or a strong table you can use that to do this exercise so you're gonna go again in your splits in the middle and what you're gonna do is gonna try to grab onto that uh, chair and then you're gonna stay there again those splits for 30 seconds and then you can slowly start rolling down your arms and then you can push yourself towards the pole so you can feel the stretch more. So let's go. So you're staying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, if you stretch your, your feet, you're gonna feel the stretch even better. Usually they recommend that you don't turn your legs in, but it helps to improve your hip flex or flexibility. So if you actually try to go a little bit more forward, you're gonna feel a stretch right here. So you're gonna be here, you finish the 30 seconds, you relax, 
then you do it again, and then you start going slowly down, down, down as much as you can reach. You stay there, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 25, 30, and then when you get closer to the ground, what you can do is you can put your elbows again on the floor, and I'm flexible, so that might not show the accurate thing that what you might be doing there, but I want you to go on your elbows, and you're probably gonna be more up. So you're gonna be here, and then you're gonna stay there as much as you can for another 30 seconds. And gravity again will do its work. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is hard for me to hold because <gasps> I'm going all the way down. <laughs> but this is the goal. <laughs> so if you stay there in that position, you eventually it will push all the way down. So one more time from this angle, these stretches, you're going on the, your elbows, and you're most likely gonna be off the floor, so you're gonna be more like that. And then if you feel like this is pulling you down too much, and you feel a deep stretch on your inner thighs that you cannot handle, Pull your abs in and use them to bring you up and come down. If you feel the stress, just use your abs to bring you up even more so you don't pull all the stress on your inner thighs. So now, if you happen to have a family member that is willing to spend five times of their day to be with you, he's, he's here. He's going to help me with my stretch. So let's go. Okay, so you're gonna go on, on your stretch, and what I find very helpful is that you have somebody to help you, and they can. I feel like a kid, like back <laughs> at school. <laughs> I mean, the other person doesn't necessarily have to do the stretch. Don't torture them if they don't want to do it. It could be your boyfriend, your girlfriend, it could be your friend, your dad, your grandmother. I mean, grandmother, maybe not. <laughs> but... <laughs> He's speaking through my microphone, by the way. Okay. So, yes. So you're gonna use each other and come forward. You? So in this case, me. Can you see me? Sorry, guys. The position is weird. <laughs> it's not looking good, but that's the goal. Okay, let me try because I'm not that flexible. So, so this yes. is what I will do. Come, you do it to me. So I'm gonna pull him. So I'm gonna put my feet on his inner thighs like that. Very gentle. Very gentle and then I'm going to let them give me the signal when to So you see, I'm pushing with my legs slowly. And he's coming forward. He's going to stay there 30 seconds. Five, six, seven, eight. He doesn't want to stay there. So let's say those 30 seconds finally passed. What you can do, you can grab your partner's arm from there. So you can bring them even closer. And you have five, six, seven, eight, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, 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 thirty. Do you feel the stretch? To summarize, we had the three stretches, one against the wall, one by holding a pole or a table, and the third one, the one with your partner. And remember, the key to success is consistency. Remember, don't push too much. It's gonna hurt, it's gonna feel more sore the next day, but don't try to fight it because if you continue to doing it the days that feels the hardest, that's where you're gonna see the improvement. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure you share it with your friends, your, your family, let know somebody that needs this video. We've been able to catch up with the new technologies, so we will be able to answer any comments you leave us below. Yes. Thank you for the love. I hope you master your splits. And we'll see you in the next video.